All right, good morning, guys. Uh, it's just me right now. Me and Thomas are here trying a, a tactic that we've used a couple times and it seems to help a lot. When the wind is not doing what it says it's gonna do and you don't trust it, like pretty much never, we split up and pick two different spots that the wind, depending on what the wind does, one spot on what it's supposed to do and one spot what it's actually doing. Long story, weatherman's never right. You probably will see us link back up because if this spot's good, Thomas is gonna hike over here. If he has a spot is good. I'm gonna load stuff back up in the boat and drive it back around and set up with him. I only put two dozen decoys out because we might be moving quick. We hunted here yesterday. I shot a gorgeous Drake canvas back. So he's going on the wall and here's a little clip of that. Yes, baby. Stud Drake canvas back. I have not literally shot one in probably 11, 12 years. Good boy. Oh yeah, that thing's white. He's getting mounted. He's getting mounted. Good boy, come on. Come on. Good boy, Roxy. Wait, yes. Stinking stud, baby. Oh my goodness. That is a stud. Oh, yes. I'm so happy. I've been wanting to shoot one for so long. Ian. Oh man, that is a gorgeous one. I need to get off here, throw the GoPro in the head, and let's get started. Sit, Rocky. Well, that's works. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's give them something to talk about. Sweet. I need some green heads in my lap. I need a full strap. I need some green heads in my lap. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm shooting my. 28 gauge and these de the farthest decoy is 12 about 14 steps to the farthest decoy and he landed right in it look at those orange feet baby rocky's with me but i'm giving him a break i think he was kind of almost starting to get limp tail yesterday i don't even know if i'm gonna let him get any i'll probably give him a couple but break home buddy You guys are wondering why I'm not calling is because no offense but there's a guy next to me and he can't call good at all and he's calling a lot so I feel like in these situations what I know is best to do is don't call at all just shut up because the birds are definitely not gonna go over there and if you just be quiet and have your decoys kind of set up right you'll do good I'm not saying it's gonna go like this all day but the wind is going from my right to my left and they're both those birds did it right in the right in the decoy so we'll see but the wind is supposed to switch so we'll see and by the way I switched the choke full choke out to a improved modified I bet you I could still even go down one more and I'm shooting heavy 12 three inch six shot You want to get the next one, bud? Are you okay? You mad? Super wet. That wind keeps staying out of the northeast, east northeast. This might happen fast. I don't know. Rocky. Yeah. Brushed my first shot a little bit. And they're doing it right in the decoys. 
Good boy. He's like, I wanted to get one, Dad. <laughs> this is amazing, actually. I guess you don't, you want to, don't, you want to get your hopes up too much. But then when this starts happening, it's like hard not to. I'm at four birds here. Good boy. Leap. Good boy. All right. Kennel. Good dog. My goodness, this is sick. Just stay hidden, stay down, stay quiet, and get big fat northern mallards. Good boy. Good boy. Get up, sit, sit, Rocky. I ain't gonna waste my time. Sit. There's too much brush in my way. If I would have jumped her, she would have probably got away. And I ain't losing. Just to impress YouTube, YouTube uh, perfectionist. I have no problem doing that. I don't feel comfortable that I would have hit that hit her. That's five. Head this way as soon as you can yeah i'm at five that opening of rocks and landing my decoys i've shot everything 10 yards all right bye green wing tail baby all day that's it, buddy. I should just try to double and finish. I would like one more mallard. Nice. Right in the back. Ain't no mallard purist today, boys. I want seven birds on my strap. I'd like to get done early and go get some biscuits and gravy, chicken fries, steak. I need some green heads in my lap. I need to get back over there before another bird lands in the spread. Sit, Rocky. That's the limit. The first six I killed came right here and went. The I I I had two land right here, nice. and I'm literally sitting right there. That's awesome. All There's, dollars? Yeah, uh, no. I was shooting. I, I could have shoot, I could have finished one. I go two green wings landed right here. Oh I jumped them up, shot the one. I was like, I want one more mouth. <laughs> shoot time started at 7:05. I'm sorry, 7:10, and I finished it up at 8:30, almost exactly. So I got four Drake mallards, a hen mallard, hen widgeon, and that Drake green wing, and the old 28 gauge. And first limit with the 28 gauge. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm gonna record Thomas's hunt. That's together, but. This is, I think this is an amazing video by itself. It was just kind of a cool solo thing. So stay tuned for that video. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>